Oh, man. That, that's something watching that break down. Now, I, I'm going to invite Carrie. I'm going to have Carrie come over. We're going to have a little bit of a conversation. Come on over here, Carrie. I'm, I'm going to tell you what's going on here. I'm going to give you the mic. Okay, Catch your hi. breath after that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff Did going on there. Did anybody just see him break a chicken down in 30 seconds? That was that, unreal. I mean, I, let me tell you a story. So when I first started working at Bardot, we were all bragging about how we could break chickens down. Of course. And that's like, like, I broke a case of chickens down in 22 minutes. And so I showed up there as the chef, and I was like, I broke a chicken down in 24 minutes, thinking I was all hot. <laughs> And then I'd forgotten to debone the legs. <laughs> oh. I was, I, I was only halfway. Oh. I know. I know. Anyway. Well, if, it, if the chicken was like me, it didn't look like it had legs. So maybe it was kind of that. Maybe they were richie chickens. I don't know. We're just saying. Thanks for coming back to see us. You're one of our favorites. You're such a sweetheart. You light up the whole kitchen. Oh, you're so sweet. It's Truly. A beautiful kitchen. I'm glad to be here. It's Thank my you. Honor. Thank you. We're working on. It. We're working on it. trying to make it better, uh, more community focused on our, on our culinary you're industry. You're doing a good job, and you know you're doing you, you're on the right track. We're trying. We're yeah. trying. Thank you. Thank you. So I've got an unusual question for okay. you. Okay. Uh, and it's, it kind of really has nothing to do with food, yet maybe it does. Is what jobs early on in your career, in your adulthood, did you do that you hated the job, but now, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I went through that muck, <laughs> if you will. Oh, my, there's so many. Well, <laughs> let me tell you a fun story of my okay. first job ever. Um, in Pocatello, Idaho, where I was born, there was a farm called Fraser's Egg Farm. It was a big egg factory farm, really stinky and gross. But outside of it, they had a few acres of berries. And so they would pay you $5 a flat to pick berries. And you could do it before you were, of, like, I, I think I did it when I was 13, maybe? Oh, my God. Like, we weren't, we weren't of working age yet. But so you'd go there, and you could pick a flat of berries, and they'd pay you $5 flat. So me and my girlfriend went, and my mom dropped us off, and we were to, you know, make $20 or something. Yeah, like, oh, man. And so eight hours later, we were so sick and full of raspberries. We'd eaten so many. And I have this very vivid memory of laying in the rows and looking through the bushes at her, and we're just like dying in the sun like how, how do they do this and why would they do this we made five dollars oh my we, gosh <laughs> oh that's too funny. And we were there for hours and it was so hard it was the hardest job but it made me appreciate like especially raspberries like uh. yeah i was going to ask you do you have emotional baggage against raspberries <laughs> if somebody says I look mean, at this raspberry no 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 i just there has to be a better way they're you know like they can't possibly be paying people to pick them one by one because not only did we was it hot it was idaho summer it had to be 100 degrees but we ate oh. more raspberries than we put in the flat so the farmer couldn't have liked that <laughs> <laughs> so the yield was off a little bit yeah, that our day. mothers didn't send us with lunch we ate the raspberries oh, it was awful that's so funny. but uh, i mean so everything else after that had to seem relatively easy well sure and then the next one you know i worked at a diner in high school and you yeah, know what so, you do uh, my first real job, I, I, I was a waitress, and I wore this horrible muumu that was two times too big, and I had to wear new tights and black sneakers, and just, it was a coffee shop, and back then you could smoke inside, and so oh. it was a 24-hour coffee shop, so people would smoke cigarettes and drink coffee. We had, like, a limit on refills. It was something like 18. At 18 cups, I had to charge you another dollar for another one. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I, I know it was a different time, but um, uh, did they, I mean, God, uh, eighteen cups. I would think a catheter would almost be needed. You think that you <laughs> just needed, a, yeah? So you've been in this gig a, a, a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so you start at the front of the house. How did you migrate to the back? Well, I did front of house um, for quite a long time, but you know, I just I was missing something. I wasn't satisfied. I I didn't. I wasn't like you know. I had an itch I couldn't scratch. And so I made the move. I, you know, I was just like, I, I was tired. Like I was making good money. I was happy. I was content. But I just, there was something I wanted. There, I wanted something more. Well, on behalf of everyone who's ever eaten a, even a single bite of your food, thank God Hello, you thanks. went to the back. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Well, there is something to be said. The back is that camaraderie that, that just that it's, you link together and we got to get through this. Oh, it's like a pirate ship. It's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. I have. I have 
have a little bag of something I want I want to give to you. Okay. I got a call from a friend of mine, and that's the fun part of this this uh, this show. A friend of mine, Terry Mays. She makes some incredible jellies, like pepper jellies. Ooh. And I went to a show, a food show, probably four years ago. And in that whole show, her jellies were the best thing I found in that show. I love that. And so I have them at home. I think we've even still got some here. But Terry called me last night. She saw you were going to be on the show. And she's like, Richie, I would love for Carrie to see and taste my jellies. So let me reach back over here. I picked these up from her this morning. Well, bless your little heart. So this is this is what it is. I'll just do a little quick show on the camera. Hacienda Maze. This is awesome. How did she know that I absolutely adore savory jellies and jams? She pays attention. She's a, she's a I smart mean, this one. Is a, thank you. Merry Christmas. Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh, We're going to be back. Thank you so much. i got to have a hug. Mwah. Thank you. We'll be back. That was a great segment. That was so much fun.